644, welcome back. Only on 41 Action News, a water main break led to an interesting discovery or rediscovery of our city's history. A tunnel that closed decades ago is now turning a simple fix into a complex project. And 41 Action News anchor Richard Sharp takes us into the tunnel to see it before it's before it's ever changed. Richard? Yeah, yeah, we're here at 27th in Cleveland. You can see the road closed here. But look, just past the road close signs, and you can see these big metal plates on huge holes. What engineers and repair crews found here, they say, is rare. It was supposed to be an easy fix. A couple days and done. Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen uh, pedestrian tunnels like this in Kansas City ever. When crews dug up a leaking 16-inch water main at 27th in Cleveland, it led them to this. So right now we're right underneath the intersection. And right in the middle. A tunnel to the city's past closed off for decades. It was built so children wouldn't have to walk across what was once a busy street to the Greenwood School, once one of the biggest elementaries in the district. I get a lot of customers say they used to go to school across the street. They said it used to be real clean, lit up, look real nice. A lot of people remember the tunnel, but no one seems to know exactly when it was built. Best guess by repair crews, the 1940s. But get this, the water main that went underneath the tunnel was dated to 1904. One of the most interesting things about these tunnels is the layout. It's just like an X, like an intersection, but it's set up at a different angle. So if you wanted to go just across the street, the kids would have had to come down one hallway and go down another. The tunnel was closed off sometime in the 80s, according to locals, fenced off for good. Sort of. Oh man, homeless, rats, cats, the trash. First we thought it was a basement to our building, but as we went down there, it was the tunnels. That's the first time, you know, in well, in my history that I've seen this. Now, this tunnel will be split up to make way for a new water main. Yeah. So you're going to basically plow through this wall and continue it down the middle of the street. Right. Okay, back here live, you can see the overgrown cage right there that's kind of fenced off. That is the entrance, one of four entrances at this intersection that goes to the tunnel. Uh, it'll fix should take several weeks. What's interesting about all of this is this tunnel was actually built before the Public Works Department existed. So that's why it's been kind of an eyesore and a problem to deal with ever since then for not only the city, but also for businesses that work around here. Live at 27th in Cleveland, I'm Richard Sharp, 41 Action News.